Good morning. I hope your school is going well and you've been enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having. Our lesson today is about the disciple Thomas. Thomas was born in Galilee, and even though he's not known as a fisherman, <clears throat> excuse me, he was seen with the other disciples who, who liked to fish. But Thomas was a carpenter. And um, let's look at the banner for just a second, and you will see two symbols on this banner. You will see the spear, and you will see the square. This is a rather large square, but it's a very handy tool for all carpenters. All carpenters have a square. And the reason they have that square is so that the building will be square and upright and they'll, all the corners will fit um, to the walls, etc. And so this is a square that Thomas used when he was a carpenter. Lay this down for just a second. When the disciples went out to deliver their message and to start their ministry, they went to all corners of the, the earth. Well, Thomas's was India. So Thomas is credited with building eight churches in India. And also, India is known for having the, um, having the church that is the oldest existing church in India. And it was built around uh, 57 AD. And that was credited to Thomas. Just about every disciple that we have talked about since we started this little study has a nickname or another name. Well, Thomas has the most interesting um, name, and I love to say it, and I probably don't say it right because I don't know Greek, but I pronounce my words by syllables. And so Thomas's nickname was Didymus. Don't you love that name? Didymus. So he was known as Didymus, and it was a Greek name. But then later on, of course, he was Thomas. He, um, one source suggested, now we don't know why it was Didymus, but it means twin. And in the four Gospels, I couldn't find anything, any place that uh, Thomas was a twin. But I found another source, and this is interesting, that it might have been because he favored Jesus, and they looked alike. And so they named him Didymus for twin. But we, that's not the most common name that we know Thomas by. And I bet you know what that is, and that's Doubting Thomas. Now, how did he get that name? Well, we don't know why Thomas was not in the group of disciples that saw Jesus after he uh, was resurrected, but he was not in that group. And so when they saw Thomas, they told Thomas about Jesus arising. And so Thomas said, well, he would not believe this until he felt the scars in Jesus' hand and the scars from his side. Now, that wasn't Thomas's way of life. He didn't doubt everything. It was his response to them telling him about Jesus being risen. So, the next time that Jesus was with the disciples, Jesus showed Thomas his hands and offered his hands to put his hand, fingers in the scars of Jesus' uh, hands and on the sides where the spear had pierced Jesus. So at that time, he doubted no more, and his response to testing Jesus or uh, seeing 
uh, the scars in his hands was my Lord and my God. Now, if you had been where Thomas was, I might have felt the same way. That that would be awfully hard to believe that someone came back alive after he saw that he had been crucified on the cross and who knew, he knew that Jesus had died. So we might have been the same way. So, but we do know that his faith uh, was secure after he felt and he said, my Lord and my God. Now, let's go back to the banner. The other symbol on the banner is the spear. And that was how Thomas was martyred or how he was crucified with the spear. So that's the uh, explanation of two symbols on Thomas's banner that we have here. Now we can get from this, the two symbols that we have on the banner is Jesus's spear wounds were the evidence that Thomas needed to believe. But Thomas's spear wounds was the evidence of his faith. So that completes the instruction on Thomas, the disciple. Will you bow with me, please, and join in prayer? The Mizpah benediction. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent one from the other. Amen.